In this video, I'm going to go over the stretch command. So the stretch is found here in modify. And the stretch command is, the, is one of the ones that we have to pick the command first. Um, it has to be verb noun when we pick it. So I'm going to pick the command first. <clears throat> and now it's going to ask me to select my objects. And when I pick my objects, I have to pick them with a crossing window. So even if I do this, it's not going to work. I have to do a crossing window to pick that. And I have to pick it in one selection. Because if I pick it in two, it's not going to change the second one. It's only going to go with the first thing I picked. So I'm going to pick stretch again. So if I pick these, like this, the line, the vertical line, and the circle are just going to move around because they're all the way inside the rectangle. And the two horizontal lines are going to actually be stretching. So if I pick there and hit enter, now it's asking for my base point. So where do I want to hold on to it? Um, if you're just going a certain distance away, you can pick anywhere. So if I just wanted to go to, I could just pick arbitrary point for my first point, and then point and tell it to. But you can see, as I'm moving it, <clears throat> the relationship between the line and the circle is staying exactly the same. It's just those other two lines that are stretching. So I'm going to point straight over here and say two, and stretch that out. So you can see, it it moved that over connected the lines. Let's say I had another line here and I actually wanted to stretch this back from here to that corner. So now I can stretch from here to here. Just do that same window. Pick that as my first point and that as my second point. And then go ahead and delete that line. <clears throat> Let's say I just wanted to move this line and that line over and wanted to leave the circle where it was. I couldn't use the stretch command. So if I did that, that circle would move also. And if I did that and that, only that line would move. So what I can do is go over to the express tools and go to stretch multiple. And now I can actually make multiple selections and they'll all stretch. So I'll pick that selection and that selection, pick a base point, and then go over my two inches. And so those two both moved over. <clears throat> the alias for stretch is just S, so just S, enter. Now I can pick my objects to stretch. Maybe I'll stretch those back the two inches just to get back to my original. And that's it.